Hello and welcome to a supplementary demonstration to tell you something about what happens when you see this message when you go to your website. So let's just say you're doing your running your installation and you're cruising along and and away this happened. So I'm working on the install so it's not too much um, but basically there's a number of things that you might have done wrong, and we'll do a couple of things wrong, but I've got it set up with one th thing that's wrong. So most often, you take a look at your web app page. We'll open that in a new tab. And it's like if you've done a bunch of stuff and you reloaded your thing, and now it's blowing up. Okay? And so the first place to look if things go wrong, and it tells you this right here, is this error log or the server log. If you're having trouble starting up, uh, I, I always start with the error log, open link a new tab. Now, I've been doing this for a while, and this is showing me all kinds of errors that I've had for the last over a month now that I've been playing with this. And it, they do rotate the logs with the log stick around a long time. So you got to always go to the very, very bottom, right? So here we go. Um, go to the very, very bottom. And you look at, you got to look at the timestamps here. So, so this happened here. And um, these are tracebacks, and, and these tracebacks are telling what function is calling what function, which is method, which is calling what method, and those don't often help you because they're code that you didn't write. So the, the, you, you kind of got to get used to this and look at the right thing. And so this is having star, error running WSGI. WSGI is it's web applications in Python, basically. Module not found error, no module named XY test site. And so hopefully you recognize this. This could be like a syntax error. I'll introduce a syntax error, but I'll, I'll show you in this case, this, this here, WSGI configuration file, this is like the starting point of everything. And, and if this isn't right, so I introduced an error, I made this error and this error. So um, my test site, my test site, that's what these are supposed to be. So I made a mistake on purpose. So now I'm going to save these. And anytime you change any of these configurations, you've got to go back to you've got to go back to your web app page. There's a link right there to the web app setup. You got to go back to the web app setup and you have to hit reload and then you've got to wait. Now if something blows up here and it doesn't really want to reload well, in this case it reloaded just fine. Um, that's what this server log is. The server log is kind of getting it basically started. And so that we, we got no errors on the server log. Go to the bottom, it doesn't say anything. And this is very talkative, but there's no errors here, right? Um, and so don't worry about that. The error log was the one that we had this. And so look at this, see this date, 1458 on January 6th. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to here and I'm going to hit refresh and let's hope this time it worked. And so we're not going to see an error because the error there was no error. So we got no more errors and so it worked, okay? And so so that's the idea. And what's really cool is that error page tells you to go to these error logs. So the error log like I said is the most useful one, but but be real careful real careful in that there's a lot of it that doesn't really apply to you. And you got to sort of note the dates of it. And so you'll see stuff where you made a mistake. So when I first started this, I forgot to put in allowed hosts. And so that's, that's a way, that's a, that's a bug. So let's look at some of these things. Uh, this was, again, that this file, MDN, that one right there. The name of that file, if you look here, is the same name as this file. That's that file that I edited. And so the, we'll just go through some of these. So... But this, this stuff here, probably that's not my stuff, right? That's uh, in my virtual environment. That's Django itself, Python and Django itself. Um, the same kind of error. It's telling me again where that's at. I uh, forgot to do allowed hosts again on that particular one. This one here. Let's see what's mad about that. What this one was, internal server error slash... Um, oh, this is a later one. No module name catalog URLs. That's a later assignment. No module name catalog URLs. 
error running my whiskey application. Oh, this one here, this was indentation error. That's I was making a change to code. These are for these are later ones. So you just get used to this again, indentation error. I finally fixed that. So every time you fix it, remember you got to go back and reload it, right? So when you change these things, you want to reload it so it runs it. So again, so let's make a let's make some more errors here. Um, let's get to my error. Go to the bottom again. Let's make an error. Let's go here. Oh, come on, give me a. Okay, I just need to get it to a console. Okay, CD Django Projects, CD my test site. So if we take a look at the files that um, we were making changes to in this one, Nano, let's go undo one of the changes. Nano my test site slash settings. I think that's the file. So remember how we had to put this allowed host in. Let's take it out. So I'm going to control X, enter. Yes. Boom. And now because I changed this, I'm going to have to do a reload, right? And again, I'm trying to make a mistake. So I'm going to hit refresh again. Boom. So this is kind of nice because it does tell us what's going on. You see sort of where it's complaining. Um, you need to add, may need blah, 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 about host header. Now, if at the same time, it's not telling us about the errors. If you go in here and now you look at the errors, I hit refresh on this, you will see now that I now at this time have invalid host header. So you got to always look at the bottom because again, it could be a ton of stuff. So then if I go back into my bash console and I go down and I fix that. Oops, 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 oops. I'm in the wrong text editor. No. I was typing the wrong stuff. Go in here and fix this to back the way it's supposed to be. Control X. Yes, enter. And now I'm going to hit. So this is what we was blowing up with. And now I'm going to hit reload again. So you kind of have to restart this when you make sort of low level configuration changes. So now I should be able to hit refresh. And I see the happy little Django rocket ship. So that's basically just gets you through some of the stuff that you might run across as you are making mistakes. You check the error file, check these things, or get some help, right? Uh, other people can look at this, but, uh, but usually you can figure it out pretty effectively by knowing and going to the bottom of that error file. Okay, cheers. Mm -hmm.